Hi, this is Billy Hewitt, President and Founder of PowerStrokeHelp.com. In this section, we're going to talk about the benefits of rebuilding an engine as opposed to putting a, a, a quote-unquote good used engine. The primary benefit of rebuilding over uh, a good used engine is you're able to take it apart, inspect every single component, make sure that they're in good shape before you reassemble the engine and put it back into your, your vehicle. Now, this takes a certain skill set that is developed over years of basically trial and error, but you, 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 it takes somebody who really knows what they're doing to rebuild one of these engines. First and foremost, when you're buying a used engine like this from a, a wrecking yard, is that you really don't know what you're dealing with. You don't know if it was in an F-450 pulling heavy load all day or if it was in you know, some old guy's F-250 and he never went over 50 miles an hour. You have no idea what this engine's been through. I buy lots of used engines, some of them are better than others, but I always take them completely apart and inspect them when I've got to install them in a customer's vehicle. I reseal the bed plate, I reseal the rear cover, reseal the front cover, I have to take it all the way apart to do the head studs and gaskets anyway, so the labor's the same on a used engine in my world as it is for a remanufactured engine. It's all taken apart anyway, because you just don't know what you're dealing with really. And lots of times you can go spend three or four or five thousand dollars or more on a good used engine, a good used engine, and it's going to end up over here with me having to go back through it anyway because there's something cataclysmically wrong. Um, I've seen that many, many, many times, and it's very aggravating to the customer to throw away good money. And the junkyard doesn't care. They're not paying for the labor. They're not going through the aggravation. They'll give you another one, maybe, and it's probably going to be worse than the one you just got. You know, and the, and the junkyard's position is, well, it was running when it got wrecked. Well, yeah, but how good was it running? Because of all the places that six liters like the leak and the head gasket issues, you're going to take the engine apart completely to be absolutely sure. The concept of boring a, a cylinder block oversized and putting fresh pistons in it is pretty much the same idea with all engines, diesel and gasoline. And the idea is, is that we're going, to, we're going to make the surface where the piston ring seals against the bore as clean and tight as possible within specification so that we can keep the combustion process in the combustion chamber and not blow it out the breather tube. So we bore all eight cylinders and put eight new pistons in it. The second main area of remanufacturing power stroke engine is the crankshaft. I like to stick with crankshafts that don't need to be cut. In other words, they don't want to take any more material off the bearing journals than I absolutely have to. Uh, I like to get ones that are in pretty good shape and just polish them, and that's a pretty fine polish. So we go back with a polished crank and new main and rod connecting rod bearings, uh, and that restores the tolerances on the crankshaft. This will help contain the oiling and keep your oil pressure up. The third main area of remanufacture in the 6 liter engine is in the cylinder heads. And in the cylinder heads, after you get them all good and clean, they need to be checked, first of all, for the guides. And the guides are actually the, the little bronze sleeve that the, that the valve rides in. And it's very important that that valve does not deflect one way or the other. Unfortunately, because of the valve train design in a 6 liter, valve guide wear is, is, can be somewhat excessive in the cylinder heads. So once the guides are checked out or in good shape or repaired, then we go on to machining the valves and the seat. Now, it's very important that this valve closes and it seals properly. The combustion pressure that's produced inside these engines is huge. Because of the variable geometry turbocharger, it allows this little bitty engine to make more power than the bigger 7.3. So it's very important that these valves seal correctly. So once the guide is straight, then the valve seat and the valve itself is machined to fit tightly so that no combustion pressure is lost. The third process in remanufacturing cylinder heads is to make sure that the deck is clean and straight. All the major components of the engine have been cleaned, checked for cracks, and remanufactured back to OEM specification. Very important that the combustion process stays contained in the combustion chamber because if it isn't, then it will, that particular cylinder will not contribute to the forward motion of the vehicle and it leads to inefficiency in terms of fuel economy and heat. Heat, heat, heat. We have found that heads that aren't remanufactured correctly or that are worn out have a, a, a huge contributing factor to the heat that goes into the engine. The last component that needs to be dealt with is the camshaft. Camshaft is made out of hardened billet steel. 
This stuff here is hard, hard, hard. And it, unless there's a cataclysmic failure where something comes in contact with the camshaft and nicks it, uh, cams just don't go bad. Uh, they simply don't wear out. Uh, there, there is instances in the early uh, 03s, 04s where some of the hardening process didn't work out just right and one of the cam lobes will actually um, will round off, but it's, it's very unusual. I haven't seen a lot of that. Most of that got caught in warranty. The actual drivetrain that runs the cam, the cam drivetrain, is all gear driven. As you can see here, these gears that are on the crankshaft right here and on the cam, uh, they're, they're hardened uh, tool steel, they don't wear out. Okay, this stuff just does not wear out. Now, what does wear out is the lifters. The lifters, the, the part that actually rolls on the cam, those do wear out. Uh, it's uh, important that the lifters are replaced in the rebuilding process. The other component in the valve train that has to be coped with is the actual rocker arms themselves. These little tips right here um, tend to get impacted, especially in a high mile vehicle or one where they've run a lot of RPM. This spot right here needs to be dealt with. If you inspected your engine when it's apart and any of these are impacted, you should probably replace all the rocker arms. If they're in good shape there, you can let it ride. At this point, the engine is ready to be reassembled uh, and put back together to go back into service. This process includes ARP head studs, the heavy duty gaskets, the EGR delete, uh, inspect all the injectors, reseal them, uh, inspect the turbo, make sure that it's working okay. Each of these components needs to be inspected at this process. This is what we do every day at Power Stroke Specialty. This particular option is especially viable for a, a truck owner who, who has recently replaced injectors or recently replaced the turbo and, and wants to keep using those components of the engine but needs the rest of it refreshed. It's good to catch your engine. If it starts burning oil or if it starts making a little noise, catch it before you really tear the thing up because each of these cores is very expensive. A block core, especially cylinder head cores, are becoming hard to, hard to come by. And the fact is, is that used engines aren't available like they were. It's 2011 now. They stopped making these uh, for F-Series way back in 2007. But if you really need to hunt a used engine because you broke yours bad, uh, they put them in vans all the way up to 2010. Uh, ambulances and vans and whatnot all got six liters. Most people don't know that because they never could figure out how to get a six four to fit because it's a monster. It just wouldn't fit in a van chassis. So when it comes time that you need a remanufactured engine installed in your six liter truck, give us a call. Power Stroke Specialty, Buford, Georgia, 770-931-4070. We'd be happy to help you in any way possible.